Tony, thanks. By now, we've almost grown accustomed to zero degree marks and negative wind chills, but it's still a concern for many who are working in it or driving through it. Melanie Gillespie found out how crews are doing in this third straight week of cold temperatures. Mel? Marty, exactly what you said. It's not just the snow out here, but those sub zero temperatures. And trust me when I tell you, you can feel it out here tonight. Now, winter is really hitting hard so far this month. We caught up with road crews to see how they're keeping up. By now, we're used to these sounds plow scraping pavement and salt spraying the roadway. We're using more salt, more supplies. We don't like to do that, but, but at least it's, it's in the budget. Boroughs like Evansburg are keeping up with Mother Nature's demand without breaking the bank. But we do use salt and we're, we're fine. We've, we've ordered more than we have in recent years, but, but our supplies uh, in good shape. The high winds makes it tough for us to do our jobs. We end up having to keep extra guys in order to take care of the winds all night. Even though it's not snowing, we still do have a couple trucks out on the road taking care of those blowing areas. And even when salt is running thin for PennDOT, supply isn't hard to come by. Our suppliers have been very well with keeping up with our orders. Um, we're not behind on any of our salt or anesthet orders. With this next cold snap putting in a third week of sub zero temperatures, PennDOT is sticking to traditional methods to treat those roadways. The salt doesn't work as well in the colder weather, so we end up using a different mix with uh, more anti-skid uh, so that people have traction. While emergency responders in Portage are reminding neighbors there's a warm place to stay. Um, we've had a few calls where people just wanted to know if they could come here if they couldn't get things straightened out at their houses. It's better to have it and not use it than to need it and not have it. PennDOT says the road cruise it has out is pretty typical for this time of year, but two or three weeks straight can take a toll. Reporting live in Cambria County, Melanie Gillespie, 6 News.